Let's look at how to differentiate exponential functions. Exponential functions are in the form y equals a to the x, where a is greater than 0. Notice that the base is a constant, some number, and the exponent is a variable. It turns out that the derivative of this exponential function is the function itself times the derivative with respect to x of the exponent times the natural logarithm of the base. Let's use this formula to work out some derivatives. For example, let's say we had y equals 2 to the x. Using the formula, the derivative with respect to x would equal the function itself times the derivative with respect to x of x times the natural logarithm of the base 2. Now the derivative of x is simply 1, so the answer becomes 2 to the x ln 2. Let's look at another example. Let's say we wanted to find the derivative of 5 to the 3x minus 2. Applying the formula, the derivative would be the function itself times the derivative of the exponent, 3x minus 2, times the natural logarithm of the base. The derivative of 3x minus 2 is 3, so it would be multiplied by 3 times the natural logarithm of 5. And you can leave it like that, or if you want, you clean it up a little bit. You can write it as 3 ln 5 times 5 to the 3x minus 2. And normally in both of these cases here, we don't work out the ln of 5 or the ln of 2. We just leave it uh, in that form. Let's look at a special case. What if the base of the exponential function was e? So let's say we wanted to find the derivative of y equals e to the x, where e is Euler's number, constant. Well, if we apply the formula, the derivative would be the function itself times the derivative of the exponent x times the natural logarithm of the base e. So we would get e to the x. Now the derivative of x is 1, and the natural logarithm of e is also equal to 1. Ln and exponential are inverse uh, functions. So what we end up with is the exponential function itself. In other words, the derivative of e to the x is itself. This is both very interesting and very helpful when solving problems in calculus. Let's look at this graphically. This is the graph of the function y equals e to the x. And let's say we wanted to know the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to 0. Visually, the slope would look something like this. So to find the slope of the tangent line, we plug x into the derivative of the function. Well, the derivative of y equals e to the x is itself, so we just simply put 0 in here, and anything to the exponent 0 is 1. So we know here that the slope of that tangent line is 1. Well, what do we, we want to know the slope of the tangent line at x equal to 1. So here's 1, and we go up to the graph right about there. Now I'll draw in the tangent line here as best I can. And the slope of that line would be, substituting 1 in for x, would be e to the 1, which we know is about 2.71, etc., which is Euler's constant. Okay, so let's look at one more example where we can combine a whole bunch of these rules and formulae to calculate a derivative. 
Let's say we wanted to find the derivative of x squared e to the 2x. Here we have two functions, x squared and e to the 2x, multiplied together, so we can use the product rule. Then we could use the power rule here, and we can use the exponential uh, formula here. So applying the uh, product rule, y prime would be the derivative of the first, which is 2x, times the second function, e to the 2x, plus the first function, x squared, times the derivative of e to the 2x, which would be, using the formula, the, the function itself, times the derivative of 2x, which is 2, times the natural logarithm of the base e, which is 1. So we'll just clean it up a little bit. So this is 2x e to the 2x, plus, I'll multiply 2 times 1 is 2, times x squared is 2x squared, times e to the 2x. And we can factor out a 2, we can factor out an x, and we can factor out an e to the 2x which would leave us with 1 plus x inside. And there you go.